What's up everybody, I'm Avatar and welcome back to Pineapple Smash Crew. We're going to continue our game and head into the next ship. We now have a choice. So we've got different stats on every one, which are all randomly generated. So each of these are low danger because it's the only second, only the second one that we've got to. But this one has full power and moderate ship damage. This one, the power's out, but the ship damage is high, so that's a bit more difficult. This one, full power, but minimal ship damage. We've also got different things here like vaporize toxic barrels, recover artifacts, and destroy a hostile's present. So the last one we did was hostile, so let's do a different one. Let's just try the more difficult one, because we're kind of at the beginning here, getting a feel. Might as well jump head first. So you can see there's no power. How about that? So these guys are going to swarm us very quickly. Holy moly. You can see how it gets quite frantic at times, and how easy it is to lose control of what you're doing. Might I also draw your attention to the soundtrack, which is very cool. Got little crab guys now. So you get more and more enemies and more difficult enemies the further you go as well. And you can see how there's lots of holes in the floor, so there's basically less places to maneuver and less places to stand. But you know, that was just the very first room and we're already hurting. <laughs> I really like the soundtrack though. So we're going to head... I guess we go left first. I did, I try to do all the rooms if I can. So it's just a matter of figuring out what order to do them in. Now I kind of want to take out enemies before going too far into each room. Oh good, need that health. Let's pop it right now. Cool. Cooking with gas, as it were. Go around and find all these, because all of these little blue blips are worth finding, at least until you max level, because that's how you level up. I don't know why they change into hunks of meat when you grab them though. <laughs> At least that's what they look like to me. Maybe they're actually coins or something, I don't know. Doesn't matter. But you can see from that last level just how it can get quite frantic. If you get if you get swarmed with lots of enemies at once and you don't really have much space to move in, it can be pretty, pretty intense. Now see, I can see that there's three dudes behind there and one of them killed the other one already. Oh, yep, they're killing each other as, as I speak. <laughs> so I won't know what they are until I get line of sight on them. So let's get line of sight. Okay, it's one of these guys. They just fire flames at you, which obviously do damage every time. Oh, the soundtrack. It's a great chiptune soundtrack. It is fairly repetitive, which I only say basically as a compliment, because it's repetitive, but I still like it. <laughs> like, it doesn't, it doesn't grate on you too much, which I think is... You now, it says a lot for something that is repetitive, because there's no denying that it's not. Not exactly a huge variety of uh, tracks. I want to get rid of that one so I can pick up the health. No, nope. try that again. Yeah, okay, we'll carry the health with us for now. Yeah, it's interesting when there's a soundtrack that is obviously on repeat. But, you know, rather than being annoying, it's actually 
pretty groovy to listen to. And that's, yeah, I like this one. I guess, yeah, you got like chip tunes and stuff to be into it, but I dig it. Oh. We got a level up as well, didn't we? Let's see what this is. Cause fear. So all the enemies when we cause fear will, you know, as you expect, turn away from us and not attack us. Which is quite the advantage at times. So generally my strategy is to clear rooms of enemies and then choose... Ooh, hologram, I haven't seen that one before. Teleport to grenade. Let's do hologram. I can't believe there's grenades I haven't even seen before. But uh, yeah, I tend to clear the room of enemies and then go about picking up things like collectibles and that sort of stuff and signing level ups and whatnot. And I'm going to cruise all the way back around here because if you look at the map in the top right, let's pop our health actually and grab another grenade. I'm going to cruise all the way around to get that terminal and get that extra room that we haven't unlocked or conquered yet. Because basically as soon as you go into the final area, that's it. Once you clear, once you finish it and you clear it, you're done for the level. So you can kind of, you can get through them fairly quickly in that regard, but I just prefer to go to every room if I can. <laughs> Doesn't always mean it's the smart idea or the right idea. But it's the one I go with, damn it. Nice, good power up to have. Ooh, nice. Him. Oh, it's a bit close for comfort. Ooh, there's a health there. Oop. Access console. I think perhaps the those consoles are where we get the coordinates from because when you reach it, it says coordinate console. Ah. Coordinate fragment found. And considering the whole drive of each mission is to gain coordinates to eventually find the mothership and then board the mothership and attack the mothership, surely it's got something to do with that where... If you didn't find it, maybe you wouldn't be able to advance the, the coordinates on the mothership well enough. Something like that. Honestly, I'm not sure. <laughs> like I say, I've been playing around with this a lot lately, but I haven't haven't actually learned everything that and how it all works, so. But look at them, they're cool dudes, aren't they? Okay, let's pop our health, we might as well, because we've got another one to pick up. And as far as, you know, procedurally generated stuff goes, it's not too bad either. Like, I haven't run into any... Uh, configurations that have been impossible so that's good and it seems weird to even have to make that distinction but I've definitely played a bunch of procedurally generated stuff where you get stuck unnecessarily so because it hasn't been well made That little pickup I just got is what we're here for. You can see the green arrows around my men. They're pointing to all the boxes that we need to exploit open to find the artifacts. But I'm not going to get them all straight away because I want to basically clear the room. Get all the power-ups and everything. Invincibility is obviously what it sounds like. It's invincibility. 
So grabbing an insp invincibility is a good time to go around and chase down enemies and that sort of thing. Oh, got it anyway. <laughs> Come on, we should get a couple of levels maybe. Oh, one more level, not bad. Another four percent coordinates. <laughs> so what's that? If if that was divided into a hundred percent, what's that'd be twenty-five missions. Yeah, something like that. So maybe we have to go twenty-five missions deep. But I love how their their uniforms change as you level up. We got eight percent now. We got eight thousand nine hundred credits. We've killed 104 hostiles and we've had zero casualties. Not a bad start. Not a bad start indeed. But that's where I'm going to leave it for now. Rue, Moya, Cyphus, and Divs. Divs used to be a web coder. Cyphus came forward in time from ye oldy Greekness. Moya. Moya's a bit confused. And Rue is our fearless. Australian leader, Roo. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next Shooty Bang Bang. Goodbye.